What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we got to talk about Monday Night Raw going back to its two-hour runtime starting on October 7th. Now, I've seen some people that are really happy about this. They're happy that Monday Night Raw is going back to the two-hour slot time like it used to be many, many years ago. And then there are a lot of people that feel like this is a bad decision. They like the three-hour format, and they, they have their opinions on why they think this isn't going to be good for the show, for the brand, because they feel like certain wrestlers are not going to get enough time uh, on a two-hour show and i wanted to give my opinions on it like real in-depth opinions on it because this is such a controversial topic as of late especially on twitter there's people that are for it and then there's people that are like this is not a good idea a good idea as i just stated me personally i think this is a great idea because monday night raw never and i re i mean this and i stand on this doesn't matter who was booking the show monday night raw has never needed to be three hours. Even Triple H himself, before he was booking the show, he's always felt like Monday Night Raw being a three-hour show is very hard and very difficult to book every single Monday. You have to find a way to fill out a three-hour program where it, it it makes sense and you want to put the most important stuff on there. But a lot of times... You want to be honest, and this is including Vince McMahon era and the Triple H era booking shows, they have to fill it with stuff that honestly people aren't that interested in. We see a lot of times on these three hours uh, Monday Night Raws, whether they're good or bad, we see pretty much some type of rendition of a match that we saw last week. And a lot of those feuds and matches don't really amount to nothing or they don't have that much uh, weight to it. So people usually call them the bra the bathroom segments. We see it every week on the live stream. Someone is saying, oh, this is the bathroom break. And it's usually some form of a match that we've already seen. They, they just switch the people around here and there, especially if it's a tag team match. You know, so it's just one of those things where I think having the two hour format like it used to be it cuts down on the unnecessary filler it does and it forces you to now put exactly what needs to be put on the show now some people are saying well look at smackdown being a two hour show well smackdown is a two it's always been a two hour show it needs to stay a two hour show and i guess they're comparing it in the sense of quality one let's keep it a buck Monday Night Raw roster is cooking right now. They have the better roster in the sense of storylines that people care about. SmackDown is suffering from that because they don't have the best storylines going on or the most intrigue outside of, obviously, Cody and his whole bloodline stuff and Roman Reigns, who's he's there, but he's not going to be there every single week. So you kind of have to fill it up with other stuff and the other stuff that they're filling it up with isn't hitting as much as it is on monday night raw so that's honestly that's not even just a time constraint situation that's just a booking and trying to get people interested in stories on smackdown so and even then with smackdown lacking the more engaging stories um it's still more e it's easier to digest because it's two hours imagine if it was a three-hour show there would be so many segments full of filler and a whole bunch of other rematches that we're not trying to see and granted you can say oh well smackdown still has a whole bunch of rematches this is true but once again their roster in comparison to raw is definitely it's night and day almost in the sense of the people that they're using, the stories that they're trying to tell, it's it's definitely, it's a, it's a mismatch, you know? So you're going to see more rematches there because their roster, the people that they're using is not as in-depth as the roster on Monday night. Um, but once again, still, it's more, you can digest it a little bit more because you know the show is only two hours. They're going to get in and get out. A three-hour show even if it's good and they have been good with what uh, Triple H has been doing on the booking side of things, you still have that fatigue. So, for example, they usually have 
uh, a good highlight moment, the CM Punk Drew stuff. They usually start that sometimes at the nine o'clock hour on my time. So get you to kind of get, it brings you back up from the first hour or the first, uh, yeah, it brings you back up from like the first two hours. So from seven to eight, they have something going on. And then from eight to nine, then they get into like the fuse that they really want to tell. That's what I've been noticing lately. Sometimes it switches, but that's what I've been noticing lately. And it gives you a little bit of a high, but you still have to wait. You still have other stuff that may play out. And then after you get the segment that you want to see and the intensity and all this other stuff, it kind of dips back down until we get into the main event. Sometimes the main events are good. Sometimes it's a miss. And even then, then there's the situation of, Sometimes we get to the main event and we don't even have enough time because they spent too much time on one particular segment, which now they have to kind of be more strict on that. But if it's a two hour show, that means you have to show the stuff that you're trying to show immediately. There have to be some time constraints and sometimes and we've seen it on SmackDown, sometimes things will get cut because they don't have enough time. You know, depending on what happens. So you're really only going to see the stuff that you need to see and everything else, the filler, that's going to kind of start to fade out because they don't have enough time for that. So I'm, this is another reason why I'm I'm in, I'm, I'm, I guess you can say I'm for the two hour slot because it just makes sense to kind of, I guess you can say it makes sense to be able to. Plan out everything that needs to be planned out. And what you see on television is the most important stuff that they want to show at that time. And we go from there. Now, I did also hear that Netflix will more or less allow them to kind of have some flexibility on the timing. So it won't be a strict you have a two hour block and that's it. Now it'll be a if you need to go over 10 minutes, 15 minutes to tell whatever story you got to tell then you can, but more or less, it's still going to be in that two hour ish range, which I appreciate because it's on a streaming platform. So it will be situations like, for example, last night on Monday Night Raw, uh, Braun Breaker was standing right behind Jay Uso as he became the number one in content, uh, uh, number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Right? They had to cut, they had to pretty much put the logo and then cut the black. And get ready for the next show, transition to the next show, because they didn't have enough time. So, with uh, Rock on the Netflix next year, they don't have to do that. They can extend it out as long as they want, and then they, you know, go to whatever, and then they can go off air because they have, they'll have that flexibility. So, that is awesome. But then some people will say, well, that's why you have a three-hour show. No, because once again, the three-hour shows doesn't eliminate how many times we've seen Monday Night Raw go off the air so quickly. And we have to catch the clips on Twitter, on YouTube, because they ran out of time, because they didn't manage their time, because they had some segments that they probably should have cut. That's what I'm saying. So it's one of those things where I do think when they go to Netflix, it'll be still within that two hour ish because I know some people are saying it's going to be three hours. No, most likely from what I'm seeing and what the rumors and reports are saying, it's going to be still in that two hour ish range. It's just they'll be able to kind of dictate how long the show will be depending on how they book the show. So they'll be able to, hey, we, we need to go over a little bit tonight for this you know main event whatever the case may be then they will do that which i'm all for it's just harder to do that on network television because you have a set block that you have to kind of start and end on um so me personally i just think shorter shows weekly is the best way to go two hours on all your flagship shows is perfect it doesn't need to be more than that i know some people are like oh the talent they're not going to be able to you know have enough time this is where booking comes into play you have two shows you have two shows four hours a week you got to find a way to get people on there and sometimes it helps with the fatigue of seeing a wrestler every single week sometimes they don't have to be on there one week they don't have to be on there one week they can come back on there the week after next you kind of alternate and it once again whatever we're seeing on tv it, it will be an indication that this is what they want us to see and this is how this is what they deem as important enough in this two-hour slot so hey look 
I get it. If you're a fan of the three hours, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're happy that they're going to two hours, there's nothing wrong with that as well. Comment down below. Let me know your preferences and why you feel like Monday Night Raw should stay at three hours. Or why you feel like you're glad it's going back to two hours. Y'all let me know. Give me your preferences and your reasons why. There's really no wrong answer here. If you enjoy the three hour shows, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Me personally, I'm glad they're going back to two hours because we can get in get out and then go on to the next show and and whatever else they got planned but i appreciate all love support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace